Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you kind of my daily routine of how I, number one, take care of the dog fur in my house and also prevent shedding with my two dogs. So I hope this is helpful for you. I'd like to show you guys a lot of my kind of cleaning routines and things like that in the house. And I know a lot of you also are for parents like me. So if you do find this video helpful, hit that like button down below and let's get into it. So first things first in the morning, obviously I feed my dogs and a big part of managing your dog's shedding is managing their health and specifically their skin and their coat health because if their skin and their coat is healthy, then they're gonna be less likely to shed excessively. So along with a good quality dog food, I like to supplement with this Pet BioCell. It is a liquid collagen product made specifically for pets. So if you have dogs or cats, this is the stuff for you. You just put a little bit of this on their food every day. There's a chart on the back that tells you how much to use based on your pet's weight. And it has all the same health benefits that collagen does for humans. It helps promote skin health, coat health it also helps with joint health which is something that we noticed a big difference in with our dog chloe who is almost seven years old when we started giving her this we noticed that she no longer asks to be held while she's on our walks which was something she was doing and she also has been getting the zoomies a lot more ever since we started using this which is something she hadn't been doing since she was like I don't know, two or three years old, and now at seven years old almost, she's running around like a puppy again. We've noticed a big difference in her behavior since we started feeding her this, and obviously there's no placebo effect for dogs. She doesn't know she's taking it, but she's acting very different, so obviously it's working. And because it's helping their skin health and their coat health, it's preventing excess shedding. I will link this stuff in the description box below for you. If you follow the link in the description, it gives you $10 off of your first order. So if you want to try this stuff out for your own dog it's linked in the description box below next up on the daily dog fur cleaning to-do list is to get the fur off of my couch and my comforter in my bedroom because my dogs do live on my couch as you can see here hi chloe <laughs> so there's lots of dog fur on my couch and on my comforter because my dogs do sleep in bed with me as well and those can be areas that are a little bit difficult to vacuum and so i want to show you my best friend in the world the chom chom roller if you've seen any of my cleaning videos or any of my previous videos you already know and love this so many of you have already purchased it and are loving it too um but it is basically a reusable lint roller so it catches the fur here and then pulls it back into this chamber as you are like rubbing it across your couch your comforter your clothing anywhere it's works just like a lint roller except it's like 10 times better it actually works better than my vacuum at getting the dog fur out of my couch because my couch is kind of a it's like a canvas material and the fur kind of sticks into the fabric if you know what i mean and my vacuum doesn't always get that up but this does it really just grips onto it and pulls all that fur out and puts it in this little chamber which then you can empty out super super handy Let me show you what this Chom Chom Roller just picked up off of my couch and my bedspread here. Look at that. I'm telling you guys, this thing is incredible. I know that's disgusting, but I'd rather be in here than on my furniture. Okay, this next one might seem really obvious in terms of a way to keep fur out of your house, but this is something I do every day, and that is when the weather is nice, I send my dogs outside. Um, this one will pretty much only stay outside if we're out there with her. So if the weather is really nice, I'll like sit outside and maybe do some work while she hangs out outside. That way we can let her shed outdoors for a while. But this one loves being outside, so we're going to send you out for some patio time, okay? Speaking of my dogs being outside, that is where I brush them. So I've got my little bin of grooming tools here. I'm gonna show you what tools I use and love for each of my dogs because they're kind of different. They both have slightly different coats. So I'll show you what I use for each of them. That way, depending on what kind of dog you have and what their coat is like, hopefully this will be helpful 
and helping you decide what you might need. So first of all, I'll show you what I use for Chloe. Chloe is right here. She is a miniature American Eskimo and she has a very long coat. Like her fur is long and very like soft and fine. What I find works best for her is something that looks kind of like a hairbrush like this. Um, I'll link something similar. I think I found this one at TJ Maxx, but I'll try to find something similar for you and link it in the description box below. Um, but this is nice because it gets any tangles out of her fur because her fur is long. She can actually have like tangles and mats and things. So this will get it out without it being too painful before you go in with some of those like de-shedding tools. So I use this. And then the thing I like about this particular um, hairbrush is it has a little, oh, sorry, baby. Oh my gosh, I just bopped her in the nose with this hairbrush and I felt bad and I kissed her. And now she has a little kiss on her nose. I'm sorry, I forgot I was wearing lipstick. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, this particular hairbrush has a little comb attached. And I find that this is really great for going through the places on her body where she has really long fur, like her tail, um, or anywhere where she has tangles, like around her ears and stuff like that. That This allows me to kind of go through those areas a little bit more gently and really work through those tangles without causing her any pain. So I use this on her first, and then secondly on her, I use just a slicker brush like this. So again, I'll link one in the description box below. This will really just pull out any of that loose fur. So if your dog's in shedding season and it's just like flying off of them in chunks, this is really good for that. So these two are really all I use on Chloe. Like I said, she has that long, super fine, soft hair. And these this combo is really what works best for her. And then for my dog Nova, she is a husky mix and she has that really thick, dense, husky like fur so if you have a husky or a german shepherd or even like a short haired dog i feel like the tools that i use on her are going to be probably more conducive to your dog but first of all i will go in with this same slicker brush like i use on chloe but with nova's shorter fur this can detangle pretty much pain free for her so i will go through with this just to get any tangles out that way these other tools don't cause her any pain and then i use these two specifically this one but i will also show you this one too too because I like it as well. This is called a Furminator. This thing is unbelievable. If you have a dog with a super dense undercoat, get one of these and thank me later. Just trust me. It really gets in there and pulls out all that loose undercoat. You're definitely gonna wanna do this outside because it will send fur flying, but it gets so much of that dense undercoat out. If your dog is in shedding season where their fur is just coming off in clumps, use this all over their body and you will get rid of all of those like clumps that are just coming off in waves and really get them down to where they're just shedding more like they do in normal normal time of the year and so i highly highly recommend one of these for your dog if they have that dense undercoat and they shed in big clumps during shedding season this will change your life, just trust me. The other thing i really like during shedding season for both of my dogs is this it's actually by Chi, like the human hair care brand Chi, but this is made for dogs. And it's like a little rake type of thing. This is really good for those super dense areas on their body, like around their hips and their neck, those places where their fur is just so thick that it's hard to get all the way down there and get all that loose fur up. This is amazing for that. Now I will say you have to have to have to make sure that you use one of your detangling brushes before you go in with this because it is not kind to tangles. So you want to make sure they're tangle free before you go in with this so that you don't cause them any pain. But this will just go through and get out all of that really thick, dense stuff on those areas of their body where their fur is especially thick. It's amazing for that. And then as far as my daily routine with their brushing, because that's really what this video is about, I brush them daily with their respective de-shedding brushes. So this one for Chloe and this one for Nova. If they're not in their shedding season and they're not just blowing their coat like crazy i'll just leave it at that and that's all i do if they are blowing their coat however that's when i go in with these kind of tools to get out all that extra fur luckily though my dogs are not blowing their coats right now they still shed obviously i mean you guys saw how much fur came out in that chom chom roller a minute ago so they're still shedding but they're not blowing their coats right now so i'm just gonna do their normal kind of daily tune up <laughs> if you will, with their brushes. I like to bribe them with treats and bones and things to make it a little bit more of an enjoyable experience because 
Does any dog really like being brushed? <laughs> Now let's talk about our floors, something that every dog owner knows is very difficult to stay on top of. So I have carpet in my main living areas, so we have to vacuum just about every other day. If you have hard floors in your main living area, I would recommend a Swiffer. In our old place, we had mostly hardwood floors and running a Swiffer dry mop over the floors every day was super handy and it was an easy way to stay on top of things. Now that we have carpet, I just vacuum every other day, but if you have a pet, you know the struggle of vacuuming all your floors and then two seconds later, your dog walks by and just sprinkles all of their little fluff all over the floor that you just vacuumed. That's why I recommend having a robot vacuum. I think they are just the best thing to help you kind of stay on top of your floors and clean those little sprinkles that your dog leaves all around in between the times that you actually have a chance to vacuum. It just keeps your floors looking clean kind of 24 seven instead of just only right after you vacuumed. I'm down here on my floor with my Goovy robot vacuum that I wanted to show you. I got this one on Amazon. I've had it for almost a year now and it's still going strong. I love it. Um, just like any robot vacuum, you do have to empty the chamber pretty frequently because you know, it's small, but I find that I run it once a day at least, sometimes even twice a day, and I can usually run it twice before I need to empty the little chamber out, but it's really pretty easy to do. So I highly, highly recommend investing in one of these. I usually run mine kind of as a part of my morning routine. I've been waiting to run it until I told you about it, so I'm gonna run it now, but highly, highly recommend. I will link the one I have in the description box below. Lastly, I thought I would just go over a couple other tips for you for managing this shed First thing being, get your dogs groomed regularly. A lot of groomers will offer a de-shedding treatment where they really go in there and like almost power wash your dog to get all the fur out from under their undercoat. And if your dog's kind of in their shedding season, it might be a good idea to have a groomer do that for you once or twice in their shedding season so that you can get some of that bulk out. I will warn you, when you get those de-shedding treatments done, it usually makes your dog shed like crazy right afterwards because it loosens everything up. So it does kind of get worse before it gets better. Just a fair warning there, but it does get better and it gets all that fur out and just helps them not shed so terribly bad. Also, <laughs> for the transportation to and from the groomer and anywhere else you take your dog, I highly recommend getting some kind of a backseat dog cover. I'm gonna link the one that I like down in the description box below. It just covers your whole backseat. It's kind of like a hammock. So it will collect all the dog fur on that, which you can then take out and wash or vacuum or whatever you wanna do with it. Instead of getting all that fur on your car, it also will protect your seats from your dog's muddy paws. If they're dirty, you can take them to the park or whatever. It's such an amazing thing to have if you ever drive your car dog anywhere in your car. So highly recommend one of those. And then I thought I would quickly introduce you to my dogs. Come here, Nova. I've had a couple of you ask me to introduce them and kind of share their story. So this is Chloe. <laughs> She's like passed out. Chloe is a miniature American Eskimo. Chloe's story kind of starts before she even was born. I had a miniature American Eskimo growing up as a kid and um, shortly after I went off to college, that dog passed away. And so my parents started looking for other miniature American Eskimos online because they had obviously fallen in love with the breed and they found one. She was six months old and she hadn't been adopted yet from this breeder, which was kind of sad, but they looked at her, you know, thought about getting her and then just decided that they weren't gonna get her. And then my husband, who was my boyfriend at the time, told my parents, you know, if you're not gonna get her, I'll get her. So long story short, he went down and picked her up and she basically became his dog. I was in college at the time, so she lived with him and she totally bonded with him and basically became his dog and she is super super attached to him he is super super close with this dog i love her too and she loves me too but the two of them 
they're tight. So naturally I felt a little left out and I felt like I needed a dog for myself that would be my dog because Chloe was kind of my husband's dog. So long story short, in came Nova. She is now almost three. She'll be three this summer. Are you okay there? And she is 100,000% my girl, aren't you? Yeah, you're my girl. We got her as a puppy. She is half American Eskimo, which Chloe's a miniature American Eskimo. She is half, oh my gosh, half full-size American Eskimo and half Husky. But the Husky breed is definitely strong with this one. She looks a lot like a Husky and she totally has the Husky, like, characteristics like her her personality and stuff is very much um like the typical siberian husky so those are my two dogs i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did hit that like button down below make sure you're subscribed for future videos all about homemaking healthy living and my dogs obviously and i will see you guys again in the next one bye